Hi everyone, this is Pastor Jack Davidson from Redeemer Lutheran Church in Lancaster, Ohio. We continue our look at the Lord's Prayer. What Luther writes about it in his large catechism today, we look at the second petition, Thy Kingdom Come. Now in the first petition, we looked at how we are to hallow God's name, that we're not to bring God's name into disrepute or shame or abuse, but we are to call upon God in every trouble, pray, praise, and give thanks. God's name is to be holy in and of itself, but it is also to be holy in how we live and how we act and how we speak. Today we talk about the kingdom of God. Now in Luther's small catechism with the explanation, they talk about three kingdoms of God, the kingdom of power, the kingdom of grace, and the kingdom of glory. The kingdom of power is the kingdom where God rules over everything, over all of his creation. Now, we're not praying that God's kingdom come in this way because God holds all things in his hands. He has all power. But what we are praying for in this petition is this, that God's kingdom of grace and glory would come to us. What is this kingdom of grace? It's simply this. The kingdom of grace is where God rules in Jesus Christ over his church. He sent Jesus to be our savior, to rule and govern us in his church, that we might live in peace, that we might revel in God's forgiveness and love, and that we might not fall prey to the temptations and the power of the devil. So Luther, throughout the large catechism, explains that the Lord's Prayer is really a prayer against the devil, against the evil one. And so we pray in this petition that even though Satan continues to rage against us daily, that God would keep us in his kingdom, his kingdom of grace, that he would keep us faithful in Jesus Christ. Prayer is a vital part of our warfare against Satan, and God calls us to pray. And so in this petition, we pray that God's kingdom would come among us, that his kingdom of grace would reign in our hearts and in our lives. Now, the kingdom of grace and the kingdom of God comes to us in, in two ways. First, the kingdom of God is planted in our heart by the sowing of God's word in our heart, much like the parable of the sower. The sower goes out to sow the seed. Jesus is the sower, and what he does is that he sows the seed of God's word in the hearts of people so that by faith in Jesus Christ, people might not only come to faith in Jesus Christ, but they would believe in Jesus Christ and they would live their lives to the glory of God in Jesus Christ. In essence, God gives us faith that we might be fruitful in our faith. It's just as Peter writes in his epistle, we have an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. So in this petition, we pray that God's kingdom of grace would come to us and that his church would be blessed here on earth and that it would expand, it would grow, that missions would take place and flourish and many more people would come to faith in Jesus Christ. But then we also pray that God's kingdom of glory would come, that God would not only keep us in the faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, but sustain us in that faith until the time when we meet with the Lord on the last day. That we might, in the words of Jesus in the book of Revelation, be faithful unto death so that we might receive the crown of everlasting life. So in this petition, we're not praying for temporal needs, such as a loaf of bread. What we're praying for is an eternal treasure that God gives us as a member of his kingdom. One, that he, he, we thank God that he has made us a member of his kingdom. We pray that he would keep us a member of his kingdom, keep us as faithful members of his church, and that we might be faithful in this kingdom, faithful in this faith, faithful in our life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, so that when we meet with the Lord on the last day, we might hear the words that we all long to hear, well done good and faithful servant, as we enter the kingdom of glory 
and we relish a life with Jesus forever.